Hey, Cumberland community. It's Mr. Goddard. Today, we are going to do our second virtual read aloud, and we are going to be reading a story by Juji Morales, who was the author and illustrator of Dreamers, the book we read for our Read Across America week. This book has great action, great characters, and a lot of fun. Before we start reading, I wanted to tell you about a couple of words that are important in the book. And just like in Dreamers, there are some Spanish words and there are some English words in this book. One word you need to know is niño, which means child or a boy child in Spanish. You also need to know about the sport of lucha libre, which is also known as Mexican wrestling and it is a traditional sport in Mexico. Um, it can kind of be translated as freestyle wrestling. The last word I want you to know is luchador, which is the Spanish word for wrestler. So I want you to think about if you wore, were a luchador, what would your luchador name be? And what kind of moves would your luchador have? Let's get started. Nino Wrestles the World by Juji Morales. We have some of the characters that you'll see in the book listed here. Nino, 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 Senoras y Senores. Put your hands together for the fantastic, spectacular, one of a kind, Nino! So superb are his talents that out of this world contenders line up to challenge him. Here comes the first one. Oh. It is the Guanajuato Mummy, Nino versus La Momia de Guanajuato. Oh no! What's a Nino to do? Slish, Zock, Pachata. Work! Ah! Nino defeats La Guanajuato Mummy with the Tickle Tackle. Oh no! Omekhead awaits his chance to bump skulls with Nino. Nino versus Cabeza Omeka. What will Nino do now? Wunk! Bloop! Nino makes his puzzle muzzle move, and Olmec Head's mind is blown. It's a real skull cracker. Crunch. Ah, Miss Eos. Miss Eos, my children. Ta-da. Nino versus La Llorona. Nino's doll decoy stuns the weeping woman into submission. Nino versus El Extraterrestre. The Marble Mash. Nino wins again. There is no doubt. No opponent is too terrifying for him. Nino versus El Chamuco. Nino does it once more. Look at that popsicle slick. Zwap. Ay, 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 ahua. No, senor. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. But then the dreadful hour arrives. Oh, no. Ricorcholis. His sister's nap is over. Time for Nino to tangle with Las Hermanitas. Nino versus Las Hermanitas. Las Hermanitas are rudas. Way to hold, whap. What a move, Kuchiku. Ah, 
Will they stop at nothing? How is Nino going to win this time? Nino's best move ever. If you can't defeat them, join them. Los tres hermanos now accepting all comers. Viven las luchas. And that's the end of the book. So I'm going to read to you a little bit more about Lucha Libre. Notes about Lucha Libre. Lucha Libre is a theatrical, action-packed style of professional wrestling that's popular throughout Mexico and many other Spanish-speaking countries. In Lucha Libre, wrestlers called luchadores wear bright, colorful masks that represent everything from animals to mythical figures to ancient heroes and villains. They wrestle individually or as tag teams and often perform against the backdrop of stories with elaborate twisting plot lines. Like Nino, many luchadors wear masks to hide their identities, some even outside the ring. El Santo, the most famous luchador in history, was buried in his mask, and his true identity was never revealed to his fans. During matches, Luchadors often attempt to unmask their opponents as a way of asserting. So for this story, I would love if you came up with your own luchador personality. Here's an example of mine. The Lucha Librarian. Books forever! Info whiz! So I would love for you to create a trading card like this. And I'm just in the middle of mine. I'm going to put some color with it as well. But you can do things like give them a certain move. I have the educator and the crowd quieter. And you could even give them villains, like ignorant wrestlers of all kind. But I would love to challenge you to create your own Lucha Libre personality. Thank you, guys. I hope you had fun. I did. Have a great day.